So, many of you ask for my hacking cheat sheet. Well, the reality is that I use one, but it's very small. You know, the things that I do, um, more or less is, well, many of them is just something I do for my mind. But, you know, I don't believe in having big cheat sheets. I believe in being able to search for the information yourself and find what you need. So just to show you, if you really want my cheat sheet, you know, you can go to Patreon and create a free profile and you should actually be able to download the one right here called an addition to my hacking cheat sheet, which is a hacking cheat sheet.pdf file. And there's also one here called my personal hacking cheat sheet. We can also download that. I think there we go. We can just open it. And what we see here is basically just a seven page long file that explains different kind of phases there is in hacking. Something that I combined, you know, and then I do talk about how I hack passwords. Well, crack them, you could probably say. The different kind of things like Crackstation and hashes and online hash crack.com. Also, you can go ahead and check out, you know, findings, the pseudo privileges, find commands, the upgrade shell commands, you know, we're gonna use many of the most straightforward, make clear possible, you know, just as edited, full sh upgrade shell, there we go. Also, uh, put your own SH key into authorized keys. So use that command and then, well, basically echo it directly and append to the authorized keys. Starting a Python web server, crack uh, MD5 password with John, run Hydra on HTTP post farm, check Crontab password and stuff like that on shadow. Open get cap, open SSL get cap exploit, the capability stuff, run GoBuster, you know, it's very simple, different kind of ways to do privilege escalations. We've got horizontal and vertical. So really what you're gonna do is run as a user. <laughs> That's the <laughs> illustration at least. Like you walking up the stairs and then at some point you become super admin, AKA root. Also, different kind of commands mentioned more times, echo path, rewrite path, you know, if you can make a binary execute, let's say you find a, a binary file and you can read with strings, for example, or else phrase, something like that, and you see a relative path in that that's being used, and you can see that the file is owned by root, for example, and it's been executed as root, or something like that. Well, then basically you can use the path cheat sheet right there. Also the pseudo, don't forget to do that, something like that. Um, the cron jobs, some links, Linux, exploit suggester. You know, I, I've never really got a big fan of that, but there is a different kind of ways for you to maybe like it. Um, the exploit suggester is pretty okay you know it, it you run it like that you know on the um, on the machine so you need to basically upload it to the target machine you hacked you need to have initial shell first and then you can you know get different kind of exploits that it suggests with files and stuff like that it's uh, okay I don't know if it's being updated anymore we can just check it out you know it looks like four months ago update broken expert DB bin exploit urls not sure what that is anyways we don't care this is the next step of the commands nikto different commands you know we can use and run uh, what's it what is it here uh, other nikto stuff yeah in map stuff you know different kind of interesting commands most of the time I would say the nmap scan itself um, and you combine the version detection and probably also the default scripts, wherever it is. 
I cannot see it. Well, probably there somewhere. Uh, a very interesting one called SQL map, you know, because I don't see people use it that much, but it's also like a, a very rusty sword you have in your backpack. I'm going to use that, you know, it's kind of dirty, it makes a lot of noise. Mm, who wants access to a database? Well, database can be quite good to have access to because you can basically spawn a shell using a database, depending on the right access you have. So definitely pay attention to that. Also GoBuster is another one here. So yeah. And that's it really. The other one you can also download my Patreon. I think it's for free. Um, I have... I think it's... Uh, let's just see one more time. I think I have nine memberships right now. And they're all free, by the way, so no one pays for anything. I think I actually closed down my uh, Patreon at one point in time because no one used it, and I figured I'm not really going to use it that much. I don't really like the idea, you know, and I, I, I feel like, ah, you know, let's just leave it there. The other one is just a cheat sheet again. It's... Something that can help you prepare for your OACP exam. So some nice, you know, text just to read and some basic stuff. Um, really basic stuff and commands just in a in a in a list. So, anyways, you probably also heard about hacks tricks, you know, and and people they, I would say it's a very big online cheat sheets place. So what you can do is like, I want to learn about pen testing wife and then press it, you know, and then go back. And then it teaches you the basic Wi-Fi commands. And the EAP hammer, the, the air get on, the run air get on, you know, the wife fish, the Wi-Fi two, different kind of, you know, attack summary, you know, what's really in it and so on, so on. You can also go ahead and say like, oh, I want to learn about Linux, Linux hardening. So you go like checklist, Linux privilege escalation. And then you basically, you know, learn different kinds of tools like Linpeace and also join Discord channels, you know, check different kinds of things right there as a list. These can also be, you know, converted to directly how to learn to find the exploits because hardening is basically the same as learning to hack, you know, it's just, Instead of exploiting it, you're basically just harding it, right? I was just going to learn about Linux privilege escalation. And from here, you can learn about different kinds of things. I really suggest you just go ahead and check this page out because it's got so many different kinds of things for you. Macro hardening, Windows hardening, you know, mobile pen testing, network services pen testing, and so on. It is wild and big. And I really really like this. It's a great, great web page. And I cannot emphasize that, you know, my cheat sheet will never be like this. will never make it like this. So this is the truth. This is my cheat sheets. As you saw them before, I have a text version of it that I just throw stuff in here and there. You know, I don't really do anything with it. It's on my Linux candy and you might think, oh, it got something special for me, but it does not. What is special is that you learn how to use these different kind of tools, you learn how to basically, you know, look stuff up and that's really the core of it all. So I want to say if you have any questions and stuff, leave comment below. I'm going to return to you as soon as possible. Go see you again online. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. Have a really nice day. Stay safe.